old oh grace jones by the way those of you who like grace jones is coming out with a memoir um about you know about her life and um it should be interesting um she's 65 years old right now and um she's uh uh, what does it say? She says, I'll never write a memoir, she said, but she changed her mind because if she didn't, someone else would. Um, so it says, Terry, 10 reasons Grace Jones's memoir will be the gay event of the year. She's from Humble Beginnings, Bright Lights to Big City, Disco, Studio 54. Oh, wow. Speaking of Studio 54, wouldn't that have been a great time to be alive? Oh, my God. Stank Vagina. Oh, yes. From... Uh, when she was, uh, what was the name of her character? Anjou Noah. Uh, uh, what was the name of her character? It was, um, oh, Strange. That was her name in that movie. Strange. <laughs> and she stuck her panties in there or her finger in her, and stuck them in his face. Oh my God, gross. Anyway, but Studio 54 would have been a great time to be alive and be gay because there was so, it's so, it's so hedonistic and it's Studio 54 and um, I don't know if you guys have seen the movie Studio 54. It was pretty good. It was in, from the 90s. Ryan, um, Ryan, uh, what's his name? I can't remember his name. Fuck, what was his name? Ryan Philippe was in it, as well as Selma Hayek and several other people. Um, but he was the star of the movie. And he was in it. And it was really a, a retrospective of Studio 54 and its owner at the time and who started it and everything else. And um, what it was like to be alive then and live there and to feel free and everything else. Of course, it had its dark side, of course, as well. But, you know, we look back on it and think about how glamorous it was and how it was hedonistic and free and sex sex was just all over the place and everything else. And you didn't have to worry about AIDS or anything because it, it didn't exist yet. At least it didn't know that it did. And so it, it's just a really um, cool time it would have been to be alive. But she was around then, of course, as well. She's also very androgynous and... Um, has a, a very long history of dating some really blonde men <laughs> like uh, Schwarzenegger and Dolph Lundgren and other people like that. She's really into those kind of guys, apparently. Uh, and she's just she's just an awesome chick all around. And uh, of course, you know, like we said, she was in Boomerang. She played the Wackadoo model, you know, Strange in Boomerang, and that in and of itself is amazing. You know, she goes over to the table and says, so when are we going to fuck? <laughs> She's just very straightforward. But I haven't seen her in a while. I don't know what she looks like or anything else. I have to see her to see what she looks like because I don't really, I don't know anymore. I haven't seen her in, in since, I guess, since Eddie Murphy time, you know. Let's look her up. Grace Jones. What does she look like these days? Grace Jones. Uh, I don't see any lot, any recent pictures of her. Oh, she's the same age as my mother. She's born in 1948. Wow. I can't imagine my mother being Grace Jones. Oh, my God. I am not perfect, but I'm perfect for you. <laughs> uh, I don't know. There's no recent picture of her that I can see. She doesn't have, like, a website or anything. I don't even see a website about her. I see, like, you know, IMDb. Oh, she has Facebook. Grace Jones Official. Oh, she still looks good. Wow. She still looks crazy, too. Wow. Wow. You know, she, you know, black don't crack, as they say, she still looks really good, but she's really one of those very unique artists that, um, the gay community just loves, always has loved. And she really, I love unique, you know, people like her, people who are really, really, uh, just really a truly, truly unique individual who just themselves and being themselves and in and of, of itself is enough to make them, amazing and i think she's one of those people there are many people like that but i think she's one of them so i love grace jones she's awesome so anyway um oh by the way before i go i was going to tell you since this is the gay audience listening here um there i told my friend david about yesterday um i've been using this service for about a year now maybe two a year or two i can't remember um called the trunk club the trunk t-r-u-n-k club and um the Trunk Club is a um, it's a, um, a shopping service essentially, and what it does is you know it, they, what they do they shop for you. you you go to the site the Trunk Club it's the Trunk Club dot com or just Trunk Club it's, okay it's Trunk Club dot com, and um, when you go there you sign up it's free to sign up you actually. Fill out a questionnaire about your size. You know, you do measurements on your whole body if you want, like your arm size, your neck size, and everything else, right? And your waist size, of course, your height, your weight, your hair color, whatever. And you can even send a picture in there. And once you do that, you actually, um, 
once you do that, you actually um, uh, the, you get assigned a stylist, and the stylist will pick out clothes based on your preferences and what your needs are. So the last time I got a trunk, which I just ordered one a couple of days ago, another one, um, was I said I need some new shoes, like some new brown dress shoes or casual shoes rather. And I needed some new jeans for fall and some new shirts for fall. And so, um, they will actually put those things together for you, several outfits or whatever, put them in this box that they call a trunk and they will, um, they will send that to you in the mail and there's no cost to you up front. You get those clothes in the mail, you try them on, you see if you like the clothes and if you like the clothes, you keep what you want, you send back what you don't want. You're only charged with things that you keep and that's it. And you can get as many trunks as you want, like once a month, twice a month, whatever. And every time you need clothes, they send you another one and you can get one sent automatically if you want. So it's a really great site and uh, there's no membership fee or anything else. And it, they send really nice clothes too. I mean, the clothes I've gotten from them have been great, great brands, great clothes. <clears throat> so I advise you to check them out because they are, um, truly an awesome, um, thing. So I'm going to give you my link so I can get free credit if you want to go there. Cause every time I refer someone who signs up, I get a credit. <laughs> so the credit, is, the, the link is HTTPS colon backslash backslash trunk club.com backslash invited backslash capital D O N O V A N zero 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 two G S L. So if you really want to go through all that, you can go there <laughs> and you can do that and help me out and give me a $50 credit for everybody who signs up. And if you don't want to do it that way, you can email me at info at off limit show.com and I will send you the link there. And, um, it's great. It's a great site. And my stylist name is Jamie Snydell. She's really cool. And she sent me many great clothes. And I told David about it. He signed up. And yes, David, by the way, she told me <clears throat> when she sent me the trunk yesterday, she told me that she, thank you for recommending you. And she got your sign up thing. So she'll be in touch soon, I'm sure. Um, and so I go, I use that site. And I also use another site called um, bombfell.com. But bombfell is a little different. It's not as good. But Trunk Club is the creme de la creme. And it's the best. So I advise you to go there and check it out if you are interested in fashion the way I am. Because it's an awesome, awesome um, awesome, awesome, uh, service. So check it out. So that's it for tonight's show on game ass. Didn't have much to say, I guess, but I thought I had more to say, but, um, since I'm doing the show by myself, it's hard. So if you want to check me out on the next show, probably on Sunday or Monday, um, uh, we'll be doing, um, doing the fuck I'm drunk show probably. And it'll be tequila this week. So we'll see how that affects me this week. And uh, call into that show if you want to call in and talk to a drunk guy, drunk gay guy, and uh, or just listen to the archives. And remember, you can listen to me on offlimitshow.com. You can also listen to me on spreaker.com, as well as iTunes, as well as my website. So feel free to uh, go check me out, offlimitshow.com, and tweet me on Twitter. Have a good night, everybody. Thanks.